Greetings, Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com. It is the morning of September 8, 2012, and I'm out here trying to catch through my 8-inch uh, schmidt cassegrain Celestron telescope with the JVC camera hooked up to it. Jupiter is very near the moon this morning. It's probably about half a degree away from the moon, and I'm overexposing the moon right now at about 1 250th of a second here in order to try to catch Jupiter in the frame as well. You can see that it's just, when I go down here, you'll see Jupiter at the very bottom of the frame. Yeah, There's Jupiter, and there is the moon. That's probably about as good an image as I'm going to get with both in the frame. I'm going to try a series of shots. I'm going to try it with it hooked up to the telescope. I'm going to try it uh, with the camera just on the tripod zoomed in on its own. And I am going to try it during the daylight. My idea is I'm going to try to track it. The moon's not occulting Jupiter today, unfortunately, from this location. Down in South America, right now, it is occulting Jupiter. I don't know if anybody's down there that's going to catch it. I have a few friends down there that may see it. But we're going to try to track it up here into the daylight, so we'll see what we can get. All right, here's the moon right now at 1 1,000th of a second. You probably won't see Jupiter at the bottom of the frame. Uh, it might... Oh, there it is. Oh, it, did, it did pick it up. Cool. I thought it might be too slow. The problem is with the contrast that if you overexpose the moon you can catch Jupiter. I don't think you're going to see any of the moons in there around Jupiter, but let's let's try a quick zoom in. It'll, it'll probably lose focus. You're not going to see much detail on Jupiter. Nah, you're not going to see anything there. I would need to do it with the webcam, which has a very narrow field, to actually try to get any images off of. Let's go in here and kind of move around a little bit, see if we get any good detail. Yeah, we're getting some. It's also stopping the field down as I go in. But there we go. You know, for shooting with the JVC camera right straight on the tripod without the telescope, uh, zoomed in, that's not bad. We've got Jupiter right near the moon this morning. It is about 6.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. The moon is at last quarter. I don't know if I said first quarter in the other one, but it's at last quarter. Uh, I'm tired. It's the morning of September 8, 2012, and there is an occultation of Jupiter by the moon from South America this morning. It's a nice morning out. We've got Venus. We've got, it's just getting twilight. We've got Jupiter. We've got the moon. We've got, ooh, I can see the Hubble Space Telescope passing over right now. Um, I don't know if that's going to show up in the frame. It looks like it's actually going to come kind of close. Let's see here. It's going to come very close. That would be kind of cool if we caught it. And it's moving through. Right about now it's moving through the frame. So if it catches it, it catches it. If not, I'll look at it on review. It may not. It was a lot fainter than Jupiter, but that's kind of cool. Very cool. All right, this is another sequence I'm shooting right now of the last quarter moon near with Jupiter within a degree of it this morning of September 8th. Uh, I thought I would try. This is at one four thousandth of a second. This is the fastest the camera shoots, and you get a little better detail. And we're actually we're actually getting Jupiter in there, not too shabby. I'm gonna try to uh, to get it in the daylight as well as it. Uh, it should be getting a little bit closer over the next few hours. But I'm going to try to also do a daylight shooting of the same uh, sequence. And we'll see what we get. Alright, last video sequence I'm going to shoot. This is at 1,000th of a second. This is just the camera straight on the tripod zoomed in. Uh, and you can see we're, we're not getting a terrible image of Jupiter next to the last quarter moon there. It's coming out pretty well, actually. Very cool. 
very cool. Just to give you an idea how far in I'm zoomed. <laughs> Way out. And the focus is coming back. That's it. Very cool. Ooh, I do see it. Alright, this is the morning of September 8th. I am trying to catch Jupiter near the moon again. And it is daytime. It is now about two hours after local sunrise here in Hudson, Florida. And you can just see Jupiter down there at the corner of the frame. Very cool. I may try it with the telescope too. But this is catching it actually pretty well in the daytime. I'm surprised. I've caught Jupiter before. I've caught Venus before near the moon, but I've never caught Jupiter like that. So we zoom back. We're doing about a thousandth of a second, and that seems to be catching it. I'm going to jig jiggle it here just a bit. That's me moving the camera. And the autofocus is having a hard time catching the moon because the contrast is so low. Unfortunately, uh, autofocus is what you've got to shoot with on this camera, so. But it's actually doing pretty well, considering. Yeah, I can see Jupiter just off to the side there. Very cool.